Hello everyone! For tonight's creepy video, I am going to be playing a scary game which I have been putting off for a really long time now. This game has been requested to me about two or three times now, so I'm really excited and nervous at the same time. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys all the instructions on how to play, and then I'm gonna wait till later on tonight and play the game, so this should be fun. So it says, it is believed that the Midnight Game was once an old pagan ritual used as a punishment for those who dare to disobey the gods. While this claim is unsubstantiated, the game has still become a popular activity for thrill seekers. As with all of most dangerous games, proceed at your own risk, if you must proceed at all. It is recommended that you do not, under any circumstances, play this game. So you need at least one person, obviously. You can play this with more people because I've seen Shane Dawson do it, um, but I'm gonna be playing by myself. Now my parents will be here at some point tonight when they get home from work and there's nothing I can really do about that because I do not live home alone. I do still love my parents, so they will be here, but I told them to be as quiet as possible. They shouldn't be bothering me at all. So what you will need is one candle, one lighter or a box of matches, one piece of paper, one writing implement such as like a pencil or a pen, one pen or a needle, one wooden door, and salt. So you have to begin this game prior to midnight, like literally right before midnight is about to chime on your clock. It says you have to write your full name, your first, your middle, and your last on the piece of paper with your writing implement. Then you must prick your finger with the pen or needle and squeeze until a drop of blood appears. Dot the blood on the paper and allow it to soak in. It says to turn off every light in your home. Now there will be two rooms I'm not going into my house in tonight and that is the rooms that I'm keeping my cats in. So I will just have those doors closed. I'm not going to be going into them. Place the paper with your name and the blood on it in front of a closed wooden door. Light the candle using the matches or the lighter and place it on top of the paper. If you are using a taper, make sure it is placed in a candle holder. Knock on the door 22 times. The final knock must occur precisely when the clock chimes 12 a.m. Open the door, then blow out the candle and close the door. Relight your candle immediately. Keeping your candle in hand and your salt and matches or lighter close by, begin to move about your home. Should your candle go out, you must relight it within the next 10 seconds. If you are successful, continue moving about your home. Do not stop moving until 3.33 a.m. If you are unsuccessful in relighting the candle, immediately surround yourself with a circle of salt. Remain inside the circle until 3.33 a.m. So I am gonna put like a little safe area in my house and when my iPod, which is what I'm gonna be filming on tonight because my camera would not hold for that long. Um, when my iPod starts to go dead, I'm going to put like my charger on an extension cord in that little area so I can still film for you guys. Um, but I am going to have like a little safe area in my kitchen where I'm going to sprinkle salt around me. It says at 3.33 a.m. it is safe to stop moving or to step outside your circle of salt. You may also turn on the lights. The game is over. It says, the invitation welcomes an entity known as the Midnight Man inside your home. The goal of the game is to avoid meeting the Midnight Man in the dark. Continually moving about your home will make it more difficult for him to find you. Should you stop moving at any point, he will catch you. It says, accounts differ as to what befalls players caught by the Midnight Man. Some claim he will induce a hallucination of your worst fear until the end of the game. Others claim, he will remove your organs one by one. Both outcomes are to be avoided at all cost. Indications that the Midnight Man is near include, but are not limited to the following, sudden drops in temperature, meaning it could get cold or hot, whichever, the sound of a soft whisper with no discernible source, the appearance of a humanoid figure within the darkness, and the candle going out. Should you experience any of the first three occurrences, leave the area immediately. Should you experience the fourth occurrence following the previously given instructions, relighting the candle within the next 10 seconds, will keep the Midnight Man temporar temporarily at bay. Should you fail to perform this action correctly, the Circle of Salt will do the same. Do not fail to do either. There are no known methods to abort the game. 
At 3.33 a.m., the Midnight Man will leave your home. After he has left, you may safely end the game. So here are some rules of what not to do while playing the Midnight Game. Do not turn on any lights during this game. Do not use a flashlight during the game. Do not go to sleep during the game. Do not use a lighter instead of a candle during the game. Do not use a person's blood other than your own during the game. Do not attempt to leave your home during the game. And do not attempt to provoke the Midnight Man during the game. And most importantly, do not assume that the Midnight Man has left your home for good at the conclusion of the game. So that means he could still be there. So yeah, um, those are all the instructions on how to play the Midnight Man game. my cat's meowing right now but this is my bathroom door which is all wood so I am going to go ahead and close the door okay I've got my little piece of paper right here okay Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It is officially midnight and I'm walking around my house. goosebumps all over. This one's creeping me out.
you see. Oh my god, my cat is freaking me out right now. My cat's laying in my bed. For my mom's bed. She was looking at something on the floor. Right where I was walking. What the fuck? Dude, my camera just stopped recording and I didn't do it. I'm not even kidding. Oh my god, I'm freaking just fell all of a sudden out of nowhere Oh my god. Over in that general area, I keep seeing a shadow. So I'm currently in my, you guys probably can't see, but I'm in my salt circle right now in my kitchen. And it is almost 1.30 right now. So I didn't make it that long because my iPod was getting ready to die and this is the only battery that I have. So um, I'm gonna be stuck setting here until 3.33 a.m. took my makeup off because I have some uh, makeup baby wipes over here. God, I'm sitting in my circle of salt right now playing the midnight game. Look what is sitting right beside me. Like the creepy things that happened tonight were whenever I was knocking on my door 22 times. Excuse me, my cat was meowing in the door because we have two bedrooms one's mine one's the other bedroom that we just put like storage and stuff in tigger's in there meowing and i'm sitting there knocking on the door and i thought that i heard unless it was like my dad playing around with me which i asked him and he said it wasn't but i heard like another knock and i thought i heard like something like laugh at me through the hallway when i was knocking and when I was going around the house, like right next to my dad's side of their bed, I thought that I seen a shadow figure and I kept seeing that as I was walking around the house. So that was kind of creepy. And then Carla, which is my cat, she kept going over there on that side of the bed and she kept looking up at 
like kind of in that area where that was. And this candle, this is a really good candle. I highly recommend Better Homes and Gardens candles from Walmart if you're gonna play the midnight game. Because, dude, this candle was going for a whole hour and it's been going all night long since I lit it. And that was one of the things of the game was if your candle went out, you had to hurry up and relight it within the next 10 seconds. Otherwise, you had to go to your salt circle. This candle has been going ever since I lit it, you guys. And that was at freaking 12 o'clock. I feel like we just had like a little sleepover or something. Like, I feel so happy. And if I still knew, like the subscribers who asked me to play this game's usernames, I would totally like give you guys credit right now, but so I'm sorry that I don't remember your names, but if you know, you know who you are. If you remember asking me to play this game, feel free to leave me a comment and say, hey, you know, that was me. Alright you guys, so we made it. It's officially 3.33 in the morning. So, I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. And please, please, please leave me a comment and let me know if you've seen or heard anything that was unusual in my video. Um, and if you've ever played this game, has anything weird happened to you? Let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.